This is ABC World News Tonight. And good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday. I'm Tom Yamas, and we begin tonight with the clock ticking down on the eve of that historic cosmic event. The moon completely blocking the sun, turning day to night. A sight no one has seen in America in nearly 40 years. The anticipation is growing as millions get ready. What you need to know to stay safe. The path cutting across America from the northwest to the southeast. And ABC News correspondents are standing by all along the way, including ABC senior national correspondent Matt Gutman, starting us off tonight in Madras, Oregon. Tonight, spectators from around the globe scrambling to witness history. Small towns with big views like Primeville, Oregon. This is all heading into Primeville. Teeming with crowds vying for a clear shot of a great American eclipse. The 70-mile-wide shadow cast by the moon will speed across a ribbon of the country stretching from Oregon to South Carolina, plunging parts of 14 states into sudden darkness over a span of about 90 minutes. All of the country will get to see at least a partial eclipse. 200 million Americans live within a day's drive of the path of totality, which is why officials are bracing for what could be the worst traffic jam in U.S. history. Our Clayton Sandell is en route to a prime viewing spot in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. This is Interstate 70 here in Missouri, and every few miles you get a sign like this warning drivers that traffic is going to be heavy on eclipse day. Schools planning to keep kids indoors for eye safety, and in states like California that rely on the solar power grid, experts are keeping a close eye, but say there's little cause for concern. Tens of thousands streaming here to Solar Fest at Madras, which NASA says is the best spot to view the eclipse. From this perch in this hot air balloon, you can see the sprawl of tents, 5,000 of them behind me. This quadruples the entire population of the town of Madras. Hey! Our Ginger Z is in Nashville, Tennessee, the largest city in the path of totality. This family traveled 800 miles from Philadelphia to see the eclipse. It's going to feel pretty cool to have it all bright and then completely dark in a matter of minutes. NASA's Dr. Jim Green calls it a rare chance to see the sun like never before. What we want to look for is how extensive the atmosphere of the sun is. The last time Americans got a good look at one, Jimmy Carter was in the White House. Not until August 21st, 2017, will another eclipse be visible from North America. You'll need special purpose solar filters to watch the eclipse. Many stores sold out. And the countdown to the eclipse is on. Matt joins us live. The next total solar eclipse that will be seen coast to coast in America is in 28 years. Matt, we want to make sure we don't miss this one. No, we don't want to miss it. But let's say you don't have those nifty solar glasses. There are a couple of workarounds. One is using your cell phone. You turn your back to the sun, put your phone on selfie mode, and watch the spectacle unfold there. There's also a more old-fashioned way. You take a cracker with holes in it. Again, turn your back to the sun. And then you watch the projection of the eclipse through the holes in the cracker onto a sheet of paper. Personally, Tom, I recommend using your smartphone. Tom. Matt Gutman, the MacGyver of watching the eclipse. All right, Matt, thanks so much. So how much of the eclipse will be you be able to see? The weather could be the wild card. ABC senior meteorologist Rob Marciano standing by in Lincoln City, Oregon, the first spot in America where the eclipse will be seen. He has the all-important eclipse day forecast. Rob, this is one we need to be right. Yeah, we do, and it's a tricky one here on the coast, which often gets coastal clouds, and we're seeing them lower and thicken right now. The rest of the northwest, check it out, looks to be pretty good with the, uh, the green sign there for clear vis visibility, but you go to Idaho Falls and then Casper. Really, the midsection of the country is where we start to see a system develop there, maybe obscured uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska. Nashville looks to be pretty good, and we're still concerned about the southeast coastline there, maybe uh, some clouds. In the end, Tom, it's all what Mother Nature has to say. Tom. The big wild card. All right, Rob, thank you. And David Muir will anchor special coverage of the Great American Eclipse Monday starting at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific.